Hey everyone, sometimes discussions about economics are nuanced and complex. Just imagine the difficulty of trying to discuss the fishing industry's net worth or the construction industry's aggregate demand, can it? Sometimes they say the point of studying PPE, politics, philosophy and economics, is that at least when you're unemployed you'll be able to discuss in depth the market reasons why. Well, the world of economics is back in the news this week with President Trump proceeding with a wide range of import tariffs on Chinese products. Friday saw the level of existing tariffs rise from 10 to 25 percent, and Saturday saw the tariffs imposed on all remaining imports from China, not just those previously announced. For consumers, it's a bit like when the health inspector forces your Chinese takeaway to close or at least stop serving seafood, and then when it reopens a few weeks later, the old owner's brother has raised the prices. Except in this case, the money all goes straight to the government, and you don't get any fortune cookies for filing a tax return on a regular basis. In terms of the impact, some manufacturing will return to the US, though other industries with complex logistics chains will have no alternative but to pass on these costs and continue buying from overseas at least for several years to come. A tax rise for all intents and purposes, equivalent to a 10% sales tax by the time the goods are paid for at the checkout. You know, I say checkout, you know, even with a 10% price increase, it's still better than having to buy your purchases online and have them stolen from your doorstep. You know, if you're ever trying to get rid of an old mattress or a broken television and the councillor wanting a week's wages to remove it, why not put it in an Amazon box? Let the thieves take it away for free. Anyway, those tariffs, they're expected to bring in anywhere from 100 to $300 billion, and it's at a time when, frankly, the budget could do with some balancing. Bizarrely, though, those on the left who are calling for higher taxes are the first to criticise these ones, because of course they would. Anything the president does must be wrong. In many respects, if President Trump wants to leave a long-lasting legacy, then he should make sure that when he leaves office, he writes a book demanding action on climate change, gender rights and an open border policy, thus making every last one of those toxic for any left-wing politician wanting to advocate for them. Just a thought. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.